Hello friends, I'm Yara and welcome to this video. Today I'm gonna share my art journey through the last few months. The painting I'm sketching is called The Journey and I always draw a sketch of my painting before I start painting in my sketchbook. This one is quite large for me. It's like medium to large for my style of painting. Usually I paint smaller ones, so this was quite a challenge in some ways. My process is all about picking the right colors and choosing the right canvas and the right ratio of canvas and size and all this stuff. The references are also very important in my process. I work with using multiple pictures and I have them for my inspiration for the color palette and the lights and shadows. And I also study how things look from the pictures. And I usually take them myself or, or find them on my Pinterest, uh, which is my favorite social media, if this is the social media. I love Pinterest. I look through Pinterest at the morning instead of reading the news and I really love it. It's time to start painting and I'm gonna list the shades on the screen. They're all Amsterdam acrylic paints. And it's also important to choose the right brush for my first layer. For some time I had this picture in my head of this girl with bright red hair just climbing off the stairs uh, in this dark mossy green forest and that she's kind of the bright spot of this dark uh, foggy environment. I just knew it was the right time to start this painting because I'm going through a lot of transitions in my creative process and mentality about art. I've been finding some new artists on social media and I, I've been exploring some different styles of paintings and different artists than myself. And I mostly am inspired by oil painters, even though I only paint, paint with acrylic colors but I just am in the mood for classical realism right now and that's a first for me because I have always been inspired by modern, um, contemporary, kind of surrealistic style but right now the classical traditional painters are my thing and I have discovered quite a few amazing new artists on the internet. I wanted to paint this mossy old stone stairs that are kind of cracked up already and that are old and moss and grass is almost swallowing them up um, and just growing all around and a bit in them.
So here is a quick gallery stop. Me, me and my partner went to the National Slovenian Art Gallery and it was so beautiful. There was a lot of classical traditional paintings in there and I just enjoyed my day very much that day. I just loved all the portraits and all the colors and the big white walls and the beautiful light coming through the windows. I try to go um, to galleries and appreciate the works in person, but I haven't been in my own country, in my own country's national gallery for quite some time. It was amazing and beautiful. This painting took me two months to complete and it was a journey to paint it and that's also its symbolic meaning, it represents the journey. Here is a quick art supplies haul. I ordered some colors that I have ran out of uh, through the last months. I've been painting quite a lot. I haven't been using black color, but I, um, to mix black, I used this dark green and dark blue color and I was also running out of them. So I had to order some of the paints. And I then also ordered some of the canvases because, you know, I like canvases and I have one big painting, big, amazing painting planned out. So that's why I needed this big one, big canvas. Here you can see me organizing my paints. Um, on, on the trolley I always have the paints cur currently in use and I have the backups in my drawers so that's how I organize my paints so I always know um, which ones I'm gonna run out of and which ones I have enough of and that is especially important because I don't want to paint a painting and then run out of the particular color that I need I always had a hustle with finishing paintings because I was always afraid that they are not good enough yet and that I have to work further and I didn't know when it's finished and I was afraid of finding out later that something is very wrong or off and yeah, I don't know. Uh, some painters have more of a problem with starting the paintings but I always had a problem with finishing them. And I always had this rigid system and organization of doing stuff, of working, of painting. And I always set myself rules and stuck to the plan. Before I started the painting, I set myself a limited palette and I didn't let myself go outside my plan of original sketch and color palette. Um, I didn't let myself to 
go anywhere else than what I have planned. And I didn't really even realize that about myself. Um, if I'm being honest, I had just brought this to my attention in the last weeks. And I really want to begin to explore more and let myself free when I'm painting and when I'm creating this image. Lately, I've been so inspired to just let myself do whatever I want uh, and whatever feels right to me at that moment. Because I think I set those limitations for myself and I think that I need to do something in that particular way, but the truth is that I don't have to do anything and I started watching some classical oil painters and listening to Creative Endeavor podcast which is all about painters and artists and it opened my mind to so much more. Um, I have never thought that all these types of artists exist and it is amazing to listening to those unique stories and see that we are all different and unique and it is a blessing to have this creative energy and let it loose and let it create. So I realized that I don't have to do anything and that pressure I put on myself is kind of stupid and that I need to be free to create good paintings. And good paintings for me are those who hold this unique energy of the truth and with that it comes beauty. I don't know really how to explain it but it just feels truthful when I look at the painting that I created from this place of my heart instead of my mind. So that is why I added this lamp in her hand uh, by the end of the process and I added it to be a comfort for her on her journey and it felt really nice to go off my plan. And for the first time in years I had not felt particularly stressed when finishing a painting and I'm so proud of my progress and with that I want to end this video on a positive note. Thank you so much for watching friends and Please subscribe if you are not already, I put new videos out every week and please like it so it can reach more people and hopefully inspire even more artists. You can also check out my Instagram where I post everything that is going on in my art studio and you can check out my Etsy shop where I sell my originals, prints and stickers and I hope I will see you soon in another video. Bye friends!